for almost 20 years, I've been searching for evidence of one of the greatest miracles of the entire Bible, the miraculous parting of the Red Sea. Tim, the first question most people ask is, where's Mount Sinai? My first question as a geographer is, where was the sea that was parted and crossed? So what do you think the crossing site, where would that be? Well, for once, I'm going to follow the conventional argument here. When I look at the Exodus story through the eyes of a scientist, then it contains a lot of observations which just make sense to modern science. I think it is possible to demonstrate that it took place in close proximity to Egypt. I know that some people would say, well, there were probably 5,000, maybe 20,000 Israelites. This matter of large numbers is a very, very thorny issue. There has to be enough Israelites in order to make Pharaoh and the rest of Egypt scared. Whether the 10 plagues happened is a miracle. Whether the Red Sea parted is a miracle. Archaeology cannot prove or disprove a miracle. Make the sea small, put it close to Egypt, all of a sudden it calls into question the biblical text itself. And you cast their pursuers into the depths as a stone into mighty waters. Where were these ancient lakes and what is now all desert? And what sort of people could stand the strength of the wind that would part that depth of water? Nobody could stand and walk that land bridge mm -hmm. in that sort of wind. It would be impossible. Why is it important to think about these things? At the end of the day, we're really talking about a miraculous event of unprecedented proportion, of God's miraculous saving power. The Red Sea Miracle is a two-part film series, Fathom Event, February 18th and May 5th.